Movie Nation, Matt here to talk more about our latest feature release, Background Masks and Patterns, available right now in the latest version of Divi. First, let's take a closer look at Background Masks. They are placed on top of your background elements and below your content. They work by framing your background colors, gradients, images, and videos, letting only those elements shine through the mask to reveal new shapes. This adds quite a bit of utility to Divi by allowing you to use backgrounds in brand new ways. These background masks can be applied to any element, including modules, columns, rows, and sections. And they are built using SVG, so they're not only going to look crisp and conform to the size of your elements, but they're also lightweight. Now, let's see it in action. Let's open up this section settings and go to background under content. The far right setting here is background mask. We'll press on that and then press the plus icon to actually add the mask. And just like that, I mean, it already looks good. I could hit save here and call it a day, but there's a lot we can do. And if I press this again, I'll see 23 different options in total built into Divi. And each mask can also be customized to create different variations. Let's see how to do that. So for this example, I'll choose this, which is diagonal pills. I'll scroll down to mask transform. And just with these buttons, I could flip horizontally. I could flip vertically. I could rotate the mask and I could even invert the mask. Now down here under mask aspect ratio, I can choose the different orientations. So we have landscape enabled right now. We also have square and we have portrait and that will help better fit each element. Now, the other section here is mask size. Right now, it's set to stretch to fill. We could actually go in here and see we have cover as an option, fit, and custom size, where we can input the width, height, and position manually. In addition to adjusting the shape of masks, you can also adjust their color. For instance, I could just select red and change the color of the mask, but I'll undo that because it doesn't look too good but I could also adjust the blend mode. So down here under mask blend mode, we have all the different options. And as you could imagine, you can get very creative here. So if I go to overlay, we can see how that looks. We can go to difference. We could go to saturation. There are a lot of options here and there's a lot you could do to create some new interesting effects. Background masks can be combined with background patterns. They sit on top of your background colors, gradients and images, and below your masks. Patterns overlay your background elements and can be used to add texture to your page. So just like before, we're gonna open up our section settings, go to background under content, and this time we're gonna choose the option next to background mask, which is background pattern. And now we're gonna press the plus icon, and just like that, we've added polka dots to our design. But if we press that one more time, we'll see 24 different patterns to choose from. And just like masks, there's a lot we can do with them. So I'll choose triangles for this example, and I'm gonna scroll down here. So first off, pattern transform. So just like masks, we can flip these horizontally, vertically, rotate them, and invert them. Then we have pattern size, which means we can choose between actual size of the pattern, cover, fit, stretch to fill, and of course, custom size, where you can input the width and height manually. We also have the option here down below under pattern repeat origin to choose from nine different points all the way from top left to bottom right. Where do we want the origin of that pattern to repeat? Now, beneath that, we have the ability to choose horizontal offset and vertical offset. We'd also choose what kind of repeat we want. Do we want it to just go through X, which is horizontal? We could go vertical. We'd also do repeat with space between and repeat and stretch. A lot of options there to dive into. And uh, trust me, you're gonna have a lot of fun messing around with those. Also, like before, we can choose a pattern color right from here, and we could also do a blend mode. Divi now comes with quite an impressive range of background options, including colors, gradients, images, videos, masks, and patterns. All of these options can be overlaid on top of each other and combined in different ways to create new types of designs. With that said, let's actually check out a few examples. This first one's already set up with a mask and pattern, but let's go in and change it. So I'm gonna make this a layer blob. I'm actually going to lower the opacity a little bit. Then I'm going to rotate the mask. I'm going to also do a horizontal flip. And then I'm gonna switch over to pattern. 
And I think I'm going to go with honeycomb if I could find that. <laughs> and then I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit more. And look at that. I think that looks pretty awesome. And it literally took me just a few clicks. This one's a lot of fun because there's actually a video playing and I could just come in here real quick. If I wanted to change it, I'll make it honeycomb and I'll flip it vertically. And just like that, super cool. I just love the versatility of these designs. This design is simple yet effective. It's using the ellipses background mask and it's also using a pattern. This image off to the side has a border enabled that matches the background color and it just adds an extra layer. For example, if I was to remove this background mask, not as exciting. I'll be the first to tell you that using the different masks is extremely fun and addicting. However, patterns should not be overlooked. They don't need to be super large and in your face. And this design is a great example of that. So this right here is the square pattern. And if we go to our opacity, you'll see it's set to 0.16. So extremely subtle. And the width and height is only four pixels. So if you look really close, you'll be able to see it and it just adds another dimension. And just for this example, I'll make it 30 so you can see a little bit closer. That's what it looks like. So don't think that patterns need to be big and in your face when they actually can add a lot to the design by being subtle. Speaking of patterns, this design is super creative. So basically we're using the confetti pattern. Our pattern color is white. However, when we look at this, it's extremely colorful and that's because it's inverted. So if I undo that, you'll see, yeah, doesn't look nearly as good. So let me put that back and then check this out. We're using a background image of produce. Yeah, just produce. And that image is giving us the color because the pattern is inverted. Yeah, insane. What I love about these background masks and patterns is how versatile they are. It does not matter what kind of website you have. You don't need Photoshop or anything like that. With just a few simple clicks, you can transform the way your website looks. And honestly, you can't beat that. And there you go. That's our brand new feature, background masks and patterns available right now in the latest version of Divi. So how excited are you for this feature? Please let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.